Hey guys, Machines and Metal here. Just making a video today to settle a little argument with the viewer. He uh, left a comment that he changes spark plugs to stop the surging on these machines. Now I'm not 100% sure um, if that works. I've fixed hundreds if not thousands of these. And I can't say that in my experience I have ever changed a spark plug to fix a surge. Usually the surge is an imbalance of air fuel mixture, whether it's through the main jet or through a pilot jet or through an idle jet, um, a plugged air filter perhaps, or a plugged exhaust. Uh, anyway, I told him I was gonna make a video to change the spark plug on a surging machine. And here's our machine. I picked this up yesterday from a customer with the complaint that uh, it surges. And we're gonna put it on the workbench in the shop there, fire it up. You're gonna see the surge. I'm gonna throw a new spark plug in it and we're gonna see if the problem cures. If not, we're gonna move ahead and I'm gonna show you how to make one of these uh, Toro powered aluminum deck homeowner machines stop surging. So guys, I got the camera on the mount here and I'm just gonna fire this thing up and we're gonna let it warm up to the point where it starts to surge and then we're gonna try changing the spark plug to see if it goes away. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't expect it to, but user insists that it's how it's done. definitely hear a surge um, in this motor. Uh, I'm going to change the plug and we're going to see if the surge goes away. Alright, take this plug out. Got a little bit of Nothing, we probably caught that on the way out. Doesn't look bad, guys. Got a new one. All right. Let's fire it up with the new plug and see if the surge has stopped. Definitely not stopped. So now I'm going to show you how to carry on on this job and get to the part that makes the lawnmower surge. All right, so I'm just gonna get into the air box on this, guys. Nice clean filter, so that's a good sign. We wanna pop off this cover. And our carburetor's covered in, uh, covered in grass and dirt, so I'm just gonna fire up the air compressor because I just got here and I uh, haven't warmed the compressor up yet so I can blow all this off and I'm going to show you exactly why this carburetor is surging. So guys, I'm just going to clean off all this crud. And uh, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but maybe I'll shine some light on it for you. Tilt roll this back. Maybe, maybe that'll help. Yeah, you can see that. So this plastic uh, adjuster right here, this sets your idle uh, RPM speed. So on machines that have a 
throttle where you can run the machine at a slow or a fast throttle. You can adjust how slow the slow setting is. Uh, on this particular machine though, there is no throttle. So really this, this here is kind of irrelevant because it doesn't actually do anything. This machine is set up to run at one set RPM. When you start it, it goes to about 2,900 or 2,750 or whatever it is, 3,000 RPM. But underneath of it, guys, there's a little black jet right there. You can see it sitting there. And more times than not, when these machines with this type of carburetor on them starts to surge, this little jet is plugged. And what you want to do is remove that idle speed adjuster. Very carefully pull this guy out. And I don't know if you can see it. In, there you go. See that little gold? My camera's having trouble focusing, but see in the very end, there's a little gold hole in the end of that guy right there. What you want to do is clean out that hole. Usually there's a little, little, little bit of blockage. It's um, closed up with some fuel deposits over the winter. So guys, what you want to do is take one of these uh, bicycle brake cables and unravel it. So you've got all the, the little wires that make it up loose. Take one of them and you want to take your little jet. Again, we're having trouble focusing. And you want to poke out that little hole. If you kind of work that, whoop, there it goes. You work that wire in there and you just, just kind of turn it, turn it, give it a little little wire wire brush, wire scrub inside of there. Just clean that hole out, guys. Uh, usually this hole's plugged and that'll cause a surge on, on this baby here. So anyway, kind of like that. <laughs> Blow her out. And then also what you want to do, guys, is take your compressed air and just put a light little bolt on there. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to push this push this back in just drops in like that i'm going to just put one bolt on or sorry one nut on the carburetor so that we can uh, start this thing up i don't want to put the air box back on right now um, sometimes they need the air box to run properly but this thing had a really good surge to it so i'm hoping that uh, we can fire it up just like this i'm just going to take these tools we'll put this back together after uh after we try running this in case we got to dig a little deeper in here but uh yeah, let's uh, let's fire this thing up real quick and just see if that surge is gone. Ready? Actually, we dropped one of our uh, carburetor nuts. It's right there. Uh, there you go. The, the problem was the uh, this little plastic jet right here. On any machine that has a Honda style carburetor on it with this this part is usually the reason that they surge. Sometimes it's the main jet, but this one seemed to start easy and run well, which kind of indicated that this was the problem. So there's a tip for you guys: don't change a spark plug when you know it's a carburetor problem. We've done this how many hundreds of times and uh it's always 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 this guy right here all right thanks for watching uh subscribe for some more videos about how to fix stuff like this